and I'll be sharing it all with the goal to help you explore this fascinating country. Here's how I spent 14 days in Japan. Here's an overview of the journey ahead. We arrive in Osaka, the kitchen of Japan, a city famous for its love of food and nightlife. Osaka. We then head to the secluded temple town of Koyasan, where we'll be staying overnight at a Buddhist temple. What? Afterwards, we visit the city of Nara, famous for the Nara Park and its deer population. From Nara, this is where the deer you feed them and they say thank you. Like the deer, they they literally go like thank you for the food, kind stranger. Thank you for the reddit gold, kind stranger. Like they do that shit. We had to kill. That's where Shinzo Abe got clapped. Oh, that's sick. We could go to where he got clapped. Yoto, the ancient capital of Japan, rich in culture and traditions. After Kyoto, we jump on the train and head up to Kanazawa, renowned for its gold leaf production and housing one of the three great gardens in Japan. Oh. We then continue to the mountainous region of Takayama, where we explore the old town and relax at a Japanese onsen. And finally, our two week journey ends with Tokyo. While in the city, we spend the remaining time visiting the most essential spots. Before we begin, here's a- Who's Bebo Babe? <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Scooby Dio's. I know you're memeing. I know you're memeing. I know you're memeing, you fucking asshole. Can you please take a Shinkansen at least once? It would be so fun to see you travel on a bullet train. I am, tomorrow. A few things you will need to know. We decided to visit Japan. Noriyaro was in your chat. He is the OG Japanese drifter guy on the in internet. In November. During the autumn season, this guy and it's by far my favorite season to visit due to the beautiful autumn foliage and mild weather conditions. Public transportation will be the main way to get around. For that, you'll need to get your hands on an IC card. IC cards are recharged. He's Jake's friend. Noriyaro was in the chat when a couple days ago. There's an energy. That's an energy drink. It's a mild energy drink. Learning how to drift uh, at Ibisu Circuit in Japan with Noriyaro. Speaking of initial day, the guy who drives that, that, those two cars there, the pink one yep. and the, that one, he used to have an A86, he still does, okay. he used to have an A86 and he was driving in the mountains one day and he, uh, a Subaru came up behind him and he drove away from it and lost the Subaru. Yeah. Apparently that Subaru was being driven by the, the artist of Initial oh. D. Oh, like the guy who created it? The guy it? who created Initial D, yeah. Okay, so if you look at the car that's in Initial D, yep. uh, the number plate, it's like 13945 or something. Yep. It's the... He's, 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 old. he's old, A86, the number plate was like 1394. Oh. Yeah. That's him, that's Takumi right there. That's the real That's one. the real Takumi. Yeah. Takumi said! Hey, hey! I'm uh, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I like uh, the, the denim. Denim, yeah. denim, denim, denim ski. Yeah. Denim, denim jacket. Uh, the uh, jeans, uh, jeans. Uh, it's very kakoi, very kakoi. Ah, <laughs> we just met the real life Takumi from Initial D. That's him right there. Supposedly, maybe. I don't know. Possibly. Dude, he's such a baka gaijin, dude. Uh, you never catch me slipping like that. You never catch me slipping like that. That's all I'm saying. He pulled a Hassan, yeah. Charger pull travel cards that can be used to pay for fares and even buy goods in some stores. They work in most major cities, but for more remote areas, you'll need to purchase a specific local ticket. A quick word on the Japan Rail Pass. If you follow this itinerary strictly, you will not be needing the JR Pass. A JR Pass is great if you're planning to do a round trip since it will cover the return trip expenses. But since this is a point to point trip, meaning we're starting Osaka and finishing Tokyo, it's actually more affordable going with single fare tickets. For navigation, I've always been using Google Maps in Japan. It works well and even tells you the connection. Okay, I'm gonna skip all this connect. shit and I'm gonna go to Tokyo instead because. Busy and efficient. 
There isn't much to say about Tokyo, which hasn't already been said. It's a modern super city, packed with sights and activities that would keep. Bitch, I'm only in Tokyo. What do you want? I gotta pee. I'll be back. Travel it, busy for weeks. During our time in Tokyo, we stayed at the Tokyo Sen Capsule Hotel. While I've stayed at capsule hotels before, this place was a bit more unique. Inspired by traditional Japanese rooms, each capsule was afforded a lot more space than your regular capsule, which made the stay more comfortable. The hotel came with the expected amenities, so overall, it was an enjoyable stay. On our first day in Tokyo, we decided to visit the Meiji Shrine. The entrance is marked by a large torii gate and leads into a forest area where the shrine resides. The shrine is dedicated to the deified spirits of Emperor Meiji and his wife. It's one of the most popular shrines in Japan and welcomes over three million visitors a year. Not far from the shrine, you will find Harajuku. The center of Harajuku is Takeshita Street, with its many side streets lined up by trendy shops, fashion boutiques, and fast food stores, all geared towards the trendy youth of Tokyo. Within Harajuku, we decide to visit a small cafe, where the main attraction is spending some time with micro pigs. It's my first time being in such a cafe. But animal-centric cafes are very common in Tokyo. Just don't expect too much from the beverage list, which, to be honest, isn't really the point of visiting cafes such as this. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, we gotta find the pig one. Wait, I'm running it back. So, is the ma the Meiji Shrine the is what I wanted to go to yesterday? A large Tory gate and leads into a forest area where the shrine resides. The shrine is dedicated to the deified spirits of Emperor Meiji and his wife. It's one of the most popular shrines in Japan and welcomes over 3 million visitors a year. Not far from the shrine, you'll find Harajuku. The center of Harajuku is Takeshita Street. With as many side streets lined up by trendy shops. You came to Japan so unprepared. I feel bad for everything you were missing out on. Brother, never feel bad. I don't even care. I feel like I'm scratching the service and it doesn't matter. And I want to go. I, I want to come back anyway. Get a Sony FDR X3000 IRL cam you do as you're hurting your own content with that brick of a cam setup you don't even know. End of essay. What? Could you have typed more like an asshole? No, that's just a Twitch streamer. I mean, that's a Twitch chatter. Brother. At this stage in my life, I can come to Japan and live here for a month or three if I want to. Like, you know, I'm not, I don't feel bad at all. I don't feel bad about like the content that I'm missing out on or anything like that. I can just come back. And I'm, I'm having a lot of fun regardless, even doing shit my way in my speed. Um, you know, taking it one day at a time. It's great. Use this camera to IRL stream. It weighs five pounds. What? Is this a joke?
Yes, the joke is a medium format film camera for stills. Huh. Have you tried egg yolk and rice yet? Yes, I have had so much egg yolk and rice, dude. Come on. New bean crafts. Some otters with the song The Hun and Valkyrie on day three in Japan featuring Marsh and Chat. This was fire. I haven't had a crepe yet. Wait. Maybe this place is in Tokyo. Maybe I'm wrong. I looked up the name of the shop. Oh, it is. It's in the Gita Trading District in uh, in Taito. Okay, I was wrong. The Steven Seagal clothing place is in, in um, Gita. Where is the where is the shrine? Where is the fucking the big shrine? Was it in Shinjuku? Did I fuck that up? Oh, it's in Shibuya. Did we go to Meiji? We did not, right? I want to go to Meiji today. And I want to go to the I want to go to the Meiji shrine uh today. We went past it. You were right next to it but didn't go. Oh, it's next to Harajuku. Don't film there, by the way. Wait, are we not allowed to film there? Right wing nut shops in Japan love to go to the Meiji Shrine. You're going to see a lot of Japanese hogs there. It's the same train stop as Harajuku. Shinjuku and Shibuya are close to each other. Okay. Um, there's a couple, Jesus Christ, this thing scares the fuck out of me. You can't film in the sanctuary, but everything else should be fine. Um, Japanese hogwash sounds incredible. First of all, Meiji shrine is not the war crime one. Lol. That one is Yasukuni. Wait, hold on. <sighs> Use Snap Maps amazing for finding things. Okay, okay, listen, 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 listen. Listen, listen. Let's let's finish this video. Fashion boutiques and fast food stores all geared towards the trendy use of Tokyo. Within Harajuku, we decided to visit a small cafe where the main attraction is spending some time with micro pigs. It's my first time being in such a cafe, but animal-centric cafes are very common in Tokyo. Just don't expect too much from the beverage list, which to be honest isn't really the point of visiting cafes such as this. From Mipei Cafe, we head down to the famous Shibuya Crossing, a popular scramble crossing in Shibuya, and at peak hours, Thousands of pedestrians scramble across what many believe to be the world's busiest crosswalk. To get a better view of the crossing, we head up to the Max Park building where you can get access to an excellent rooftop view of the crossing below. As hunger strikes, we dive into the popular sushi chain, Obey Sushi, known for its budget-friendly
I'm literally currently looking up how to fucking uh, get the Me Pig Cafe in Harajuku uh, and and uh, book it ASAP. Like, I'm not even kidding. I'm trying to do that right now. And unfortunately, I don't think it's like letting me do it today. Three of two. Yeah, it's all booked out today. It's literally all booked out till 6 p.m., which fucking sucks. I don't think I could do it. I don't think I could, like, walk in, right? Why don't you have an assistant? Every time, see, every time people try to fucking backseat my streaming and say like, "Why don't you do this? Why don't you do that?" It makes me not want to stream and just like do whatever the fuck I want to do on my own. I'm a, I'm gonna be honest. It is like it's very very annoying when you guys say that. Why don't you buy this camera? Why don't you buy that? Why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? It's like stop backseating, bro. Why don't you do it? Okay, you sound like Asmin. I, I don't know what that even means. But have you tried the internet? We'll really help you out in Japan. <laughs> Thanks, man. No, I am not in a banning mood. And I will not be banning people. But it, it is, like, frustrating whenever people are, like, backseating what I'm doing. You know what I mean? It's There's a lot going on. It's It's... 6 p.m. JST conversion. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't work. Um, wait, hold on. Maybe this is like the, the Meepik Cafe booking is for my computer is like in American time. So maybe that's like fucking it up. Let me try it again on my phone, which is in Japanese time. Prices and conveyor style system. The following day, we decided to spend the entire day Exploring oh, it's, yeah, there's Tokyo's nothing famous electric town. It's a buzzing commercial area, mostly famous for being the center of geek culture in Japan. Anime, manga, video games, and maid cafes are in full display here. Whether you're into this or not, it's still an area worth exploring. First, try out the many arcades in Akihabara. Bust out your favorite dance moves, or maybe win a prize if you're lucky. There's also a lot of shopping that can be done here, so who knows, you might find your perfect souvenir. On our last day in Tokyo, we decided to visit Team Lab Borderless. A digital art museum with several unique exhibits on this. Is this sick? We might go to this tonight. Fuck the stream. Do what you want. You're in fucking Japan, dude. Guys, chill. I want. I am doing what I want, and what I want is to stream some of the stuff. Okay, calm down. I'm booking the pig thing right now. Actually, fuck it. At 2 p.m. today. I don't even know if I'll have anyone to come with me because I think like Ray and and March are gonna separate. But fuck it, YOLO. I'll just go by myself with a goddamn camera strapped to me. I don't give a shit, dude. I did it. Team Lab Borderless is closed until later this year. No, it's not. Display. 
Here are some highlights. <laughs> if you don't have a five pound camera, I won't be watching. What has this platform come to? <laughs> Borderless World for its waterfall inspired artwork. There's also the Crystal World, which features thousands upon thousands of colorful LED lights. The Forest of Lamps is probably the most popular display here in the Borderless Museum, so do expect long queues. I also want to give a quick mention to the NT House, which displays a digital artwork on your tea. After Team Lab, we head to one of many popular and atmospheric alleyways of Tokyo, Omoide Yokocho, also known as Memory Lane. It's a narrow and atmospheric alleyway filled by small eateries, paper lanterns, fake maple leaves, and the grilling smell of yakitori. My advice is to explore the many isekayas and try anything that might interest you. If you have more time or just looking for different things to do, here's a short list. The iconic Tokyo Tower, a symbol of Japan's post-war rebirth. The ancient Sensoji Temple, the oldest temple in Tokyo. Kapukicho, the famous entertainment district found in Shinjuku. Oh, fuck. There's also the Tokyo Sky Tree, the new relocated fish market, the Nesu Shrine, and the famous garden of Shinjuku. <laughs> it says, please contact below for more information. Um, Because it says, like, you know, no live streaming and phone calls is my bother or the customers, but it's a private room, so it might be fine. Prepare for this. <laughs> Wait, this is from four days ago. Aww. Rob went there four days ago. Good night, pig. If I stop, does he wake up? No, he's falling asleep. <laughs> Turn. Hey, hey, hey. Now he's awake. I'm going to die. <laughs> if I get to do this, this is the greatest day of my life. Okay. Is that the one he went? Is that the one I, I, I just got one from? <sighs> Pigs hate being picked up for your information. <laughs> Rob is live. You can ask him. I just DM'd him. Fun fact, the smallest beard of domesticated pigs still reaches 70 pounds at minimum as an adult. So these are all juveniles. Yes, I know. I, I know that like there's no such thing as like a teacup pig. That's not a real thing. Or I guess even the teacup pigs are still fairly large. Iko desune is how you say good boy, good girl to an animal in Japanese, by the way. Thank you for telling me that. Um, no, this one is far away. Rob had to bike for an hour to reach this one.
The noise it made made my soul cry. How did anyone find out they taste good? Yeah. Hey, I was sleeping. I stop as you wake up. No? You fall asleep? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. There is one in. Now he's awake. There is one in Harajuku. Connor went to it. We are currently in Harajuku, and today I get to do something rather pleasant, actually, for once, surprisingly. I'm going to a pig cafe. I have no idea why that's a thing, but I'm going to find out. And of course, this isn't my video idea. It's Kaho's idea, as always. Kaho, welcome once again. Thank you. Why? Why are we here, Kaho? They look adorable. Come on, they look irresistible. So I guess let's just go inside and find out what's going on. Huh? Oh my god! Wait, touch them, touch them. Oh, yeah. oh konnichiwa. Oh. I know that this is totally irrelevant to the video and doesn't matter at all. But they had a slipper dispenser, and I don't know why, but that's really cool. I just got the. Gundam vibe. <laughs> and the reason why there is a slipper dispenser to begin with is because you can't bring your dirty outside shoes in that might get the pigs sick and just general cleanliness. And obviously due to the fact that you are petting animals, you have to wash your hands and then also sanitize. Yeah, wash those hands, Carl. Oh. Hygienic. What's wrong with me? I just want to touch the pigs already. Let me touch them. <laughs> and before going into the cafe, you obviously have to agree to all the cafe's rules. Very normal stuff, such as please don't take the drinks outside, the only accepted payment methods are cash, visa, and MasterCard, and don't go to any countries with swine flu. Which, obviously, we've all been doing a lot of recently. The first 30 minutes cost about $10, and every 30 minutes afterwards costs about 5 and you have to buy a drink at least one time. And, of course, all the normal stuff that you have to do right now whenever you go anywhere, which is obviously get your temperature checked and put on your hazmat suit. Mine's pink. Check this out. And the cafe is themed quite nicely, and it looks like a nursery of sorts. I just realized that maybe I was raised in a barn for pigs. Moving on, this video is sponsored by Demon Waifu. Demon Waifu is a mobile simulation game in the style of anime. A. Hey, but before we... A. Hey, Co-founder of all things. I really love animals, and owning a micro pig for myself was my longtime dream. I asked them how they got a hold of micro pigs. I was looking for where to buy micro pigs, and there was, like, no place to buy them. Yeah, it doesn't seem like a very common thing. Yeah, yeah, true, true. <laughs> Amazon, maybe? So I was looking overseas, and I found this, uh... Small farm in Wales. Wales gang represent from Hinlad from Hard. Oh, okay. Likes people. Okay, I just want to see the pigs. What do you think about a hedgehog? Hedgehogs? Hedgehog, yeah. I feel like hedgehogs aren't meant to be like pet right. animals, right? So I feel they eat. That's the craziest part is that like when you go to these places, you just like eat. Go away. So why? And I'm like, I'm too preoccupied with like petting the stuff to eat. They're always like, oh, you have to get food. You have to get a drink. I'm like, I don't give a fuck, bro. Just give me the drink. But, like, I'm not going to drink it. I just want to feed the fucking pigs, and I want to, like, and, and I want to pet them. Order a pork bun and a big plate of bacon and just eat it while they watch. I mean, it's funny you say that because, like, pigs would eat it, too. Like, pigs famously will eat other pigs. They don't give a fuck. They're pigs. Pigs will 100% eat other pigs. <laughs> Oh my god, bro. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's like a deer. Look at him wagging his little fucking tail. I'm losing it. I'm fucking losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. Everyone in the fucking group chat wants to extend the trip, by the way. Like, literally everyone. I'm talking to them on the other side. And they're all, like, literally on board with extending the trip. <laughs> oh my God. And boy, do they go in. And the delicious meal that I've prepared for the pigs is sweet potato and carrots. Oh, let's go, let's go. Oh, my God. Uncle Connor, Uncle Connor. 
that I can. Oh my god! Why are you carrying my That's left hand? That's very intense. That is, they are running at nothing me. Nothing here. Licking. Nothing here. Don't worry about it. There's nothing on my left. And it quickly turned into a fighting pit to see who could lick Kaho's hand the fastest. Uh, that is not a sentence I ever thought I would say out loud. All right. <laughs> I'm still kind of stuck on this. We humans as a species are plenty of adorable. Cuddleable, pick up adoptable puppies and kittens in our local animal shelters. Why the fascination with farm animals? We eat them just like Twitch eats our time of the hour, top of the hour ad break. Fuck you. That's so good. Hey, okay. How you feeling, buddy? What's good? Uh, I don't know because I, here, you want a waffle? I also bought a bunch of sandwiches. Uh, there's fried chicken there. If you want some fried chicken. Um. Yeah, I know. All right, get get with the program. Get up. All right, I'm wake up. I'm awake, I'm awake, I'm awake. <laughs> We're in Japan, motherfucker. What do you mean? You're ha you're hung over. Uh -oh. Wake up. There's fried chicken right there. Eat it. Eat the fried chicken. Chicken and waffle time. Go, 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 quick. Quick. Like, you know that kid in the skin spit program that like wakes up.